Hey guys, it's Carrie Lynn here for SheSaved.com and as promised, I am going to give you a peek at how to use this infrared thermometer. Um, I've been sharing this on the Facebook page. These have been really hard to come by. This is the one I purchased. It's the lowest price I found, but the biggest problem with this thermometer is that rightly so, it gets very bad reviews because it comes with little to no instructions. And so when you get this, it will be set in Celsius and it's almost impossible to figure out how to get it to Fahrenheit. But I'm gonna show you really quick how. Once you do that, I think this is a really, really great little thermometer, um, super easy to use, but getting that um, setting changed has been the biggest challenge for most people. So I'm gonna show you how. Basically, this is the battery compartment. You just pop it open and it takes two AAA batteries you um, push that button to turn it on. As you can see, I've already got mine um, switched to Fahrenheit, but I'm gonna show you how to switch yours as well. So hopefully you can see that. Um, it's kind of hard to video these screens as well, but I'm gonna show you that. So you're gonna pop it on, and then this setting button right here, you're gonna push and hold down until it changes to F1. Then you're going to release it, and then you're going to push it, hold it down again, and it will go to F2. You're gonna release it and you're gonna push it down and move it to F3. Now you're at the setting for that and you're gonna use these two buttons. Doesn't matter which one you use of the up or down, plus or minus, and you're gonna switch back and forth between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So we're gonna leave it on Fahrenheit and then um, push the trigger again and it goes right back. And as you can see, the rest of the instructions with this are pretty clear. Um, you can take temperature of surfaces or body. Um, everything else seems to be pretty self-explanatory. I really, really think this is a great deal, um, a great product. All of the bad reviews are people who couldn't figure out how to switch it. So I wanted to do a video because I would have loved to have found a video <laughs> when we first got this, but I will include links as to where you can buy this. So overall, I think this is a pretty decent little infrared thermometer. Aside from that little glitch, that might help you out because the reviews are so bad that um, once you figure that out, it's a pretty decent price point. Um, I don't think the brand name matters. It looks like they made a bunch of these and packaged them under different names and brands. Um, I would read the reviews of any particular ones you're ordering just to make sure that they're not total junk. But um, aside from that, getting it switched from Fahrenheit, uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit is the biggest challenge with this one. Otherwise, I think it's great and the that price point doesn't really matter so, so much. Again, this one was purchased at Walmart. I will leave the links as to where you can find them. It's the lowest price one that I found and it seems to work really well. I'm very impressed other than that little glitch. So anyway, there you go. I'll leave links. This is Carrie Lynn for SheSaved.com.